Hey YouTubers, just wanted to show you my attempt at making a perpetual motion holder. Um, I've been following a couple people on YouTube, and one guy, uh, David Lambright, if you haven't checked out his channel, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, he's been doing some really interesting things with this uh, technology, um, where you can see vortexes of the ether. <laughs> pretty interesting stuff anyway he's been doing a lot of uh, experiments and he made reference to using one wrapping um, and one coil so I wanted to attempt to see if that would work and this is my experiment so I had a u-bolt laying around I just had to go buy this uh, square bar stock over at Home Depot <laughs> and then I got some of this on eBay there we go. Uh, just some 14 gauge AWG uh, magnet wire enameled. And uh, there you go. One wrapping. Uh, it doesn't really matter where the coil is. I just put it right there so it's centered and it looks nicer. So here we go. Just get that close so you can see it jumping. There you go and it is stuck on there. I had two hands available. I will show you. But uh there you go. So, I figured I'd show you guys that. Um real easy way to make a small experimental perpetual motion holder. So, oh yeah, the uh first guy that made this was Ed Leeds Galnin, and I'll put a, a link to both those guys in the description. Anyway, have fun guys. I uh, just wanted to show you this little attempt here. All right, take care.